everybody. Thank you for joining us today. We have a special video today that we're going to do. It's something a little bit familiar for you because we have done a video somewhat like this before. But since we did that first video, we had tried quite a few things because we wanted to make sure that these things will hopefully work for you and your family. So the video that we're going to do today is a second one on the shack grill. So if you remember, this is our shack grill here. We're going to do a recipe for everyone. Actually, not even a recipe. They're quick uh, things that you can do out that you can do outside, but we're actually going to do them inside. And when we do these, of course, like uh, Lone Wolf Rick, he's at another location filming today. He likes to do things or we like to do things that are under $20 that are good for the whole family that are very, very quick and very easy. So today is going to be a super, super easy one for you today. We are going to do wrapped hot dogs and we're going to do hamburgers on our shack grill. The difference with these though is uh, Bad Wolf BH he is behind the camera today and I are on a lower carb diet. We've tried several diets. These seem to work for us that give us a little more energy. Uh, we're not starving. It's like a keto diet. It's not strictly, strictly keto, but we're as keto as we can get because it's actually working for us. Uh, Bad Wolf BH has lost about 15 pounds in the last month or so. Yeah. And uh, for me, I'm just, I'm, I've lost a few pounds and I just want to maintain. So what I found is I found this Aura Wheat bread. It's at Albertsons. It's, they should have it at Smith's or your local store. It's a keto bread. And what's amazing about this, it is a white bread, 60 calories a slice. But the great thing about this is it has 11 carbs minus 8 grams of fiber. That gives us 3 net carbs per slice. So that's why we are going to use this today as our special hot dog bun that you're going to see. And we're also going to use it as a hamburger bun. Now, in looking at a lot of research we've done online, and we have a lot of people out there with YouTube videos that have helped us out, so thank you. We're going to use these natural uncured beef hot dogs. They are no antibiotics, no nitrates, 100% grass-fed, and uh, pasture-raised beef. The reason why we're using these is because they have zero carbohydrates and um, 9 grams of fat. So we are going to try these today. And the other thing we got are actual steakhouse tri-tip beef patties. They already have the garlic and peppercorn. I know you guys are wonderful and you can get your own, you can season your own, but I wanted to make this really quick for you today. So these are garlic with peppercorn and these actually have no carbohydrates and I think these are gonna work for us today. So since we're only cooking for two, but we want some leftovers, I'm gonna have four patties. I think I'm gonna only make two hot dogs, but I wanna show you how we're gonna do those today. So before we get started, uh, I said we were doing a little something special because we had a few requests for this shack grill, and that's why we're back doing it today. I want to dedicate this video to a special subscriber by the name of Ken, who may want to purchase this shack grill for his girlfriend for Christmas. So before we get started, I want to let you know you can find this as a great deal. They do have an a infomercial on TV that actually... Uh, has the shack grill at something like $14.95 for a 30-day trial money-back guarantee but try Target, Sam's Club, Walmart, whatever the best deal is and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you it is a great deal and I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna start with the hot dogs. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna put little slices in each one of them before we get started and I'm doing that just so they cook a little faster for us. Oh. That will be did that one for me already. Just so they get a little toasty on the inside too. If you remember in our videos, we like everything to be well done. I think I'm gonna actually make three of those. The other things you're gonna need, you're gonna just need a couple A's as we are in the RV. So we're um, improvising using anything that we can have and that we can put in this recipe here. We have the Mrs. Dash salt free. I'm going to go ahead and add that. So we did add the eggs already. The reason why we have the eggs is we're going to put a little batter on this bread. So I'm going to add, like we say, to your taste. And whatever you have available, use that. 
I always use paprika. It's one of my mom's uh, special tricks because it always makes things a little bit gold. I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. And last but not least, you can use Parmesan. You can use anything you'd like. I prefer Parmesan. It does a nice little crispy batter. You know we love cheese, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a lot of that. You can be very generous. And uh, some little extra Parmesan here. So what I'm gonna show you, and the reason why we're doing all this, is we are going to dip our batter. Before we dip our batter, we already pre um, rolled those out. If you do not have a roller, I had to go buy this. Uh, use whatever you can. A glass will work, a thermos will work, uh, anything hard that you can roll your bread, and you just wanna go ahead and roll it, smash it. And the reason why you wanna do this is because we're gonna wrap those hot dogs real quick. So we wanna get it as flat as you can. This bread is pretty easy. If you want to use regular hot dog buns, you could just toss them right on that grill. Yeah, and you can use these, like, we're using this Kato bread, but, right. you know, if you have kids or whatever. That sure, bread, regular can, hot dog buns, regular. This bread is it's actually, it's a little different, it's a little bit different texture, but it's it's way way less carbs than normal bread, so that's why we're using it, but you can exactly. use anything. So what you're going to do is you're going to beat this up, or you can use a fork. I prefer a fork, but I wanted to do it real quick for you here. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. So remember, we just hit that button there. Up here is the time. Down here is the temperature. You wanna make sure the bottom of it, or the bottom um, grill and the top grill there is on. It also has that fan because this is smokeless. So anything you can barbecue outside, you can barbecue inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this uh, time for the time first. Okay, everyone, so now we're gonna turn this on. So I just hit the red button. And again, make sure that the top and bottom are both on, and that's those right there. And you also wanna make sure when we close it, we're gonna turn that fan on. But if you click this button here, that's our time. I'm gonna lower it to about eight minutes. And this is our temperature. So you click that once, and I'm gonna bring that down to maybe 375 there we go so we're gonna close it up and it's gonna let us know when it's ready and then I'm gonna put these items on and I'm gonna show you how to do it so before we do that I'm gonna have this mixture all mixed up and again you can put salt pepper whatever you like we don't cook with too much salt And I'm going to take this bread and I'm just going to dip it on one side. And the reason why I'm going to only dip it on one side is because I'm going to put cheese on it. And as soon as that beeps, I'm going to cook my hot dogs first. I'm going to show you how I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the hamburgers. So our shot grill, the beep just went off, letting us know that the grills are ready. We want enough room for our burgers. For now, I think I'll put on two. Maybe, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but hear okay. that little sizzle. It already smells good. And all we're going to do is we're going to close it. Okay. And we're going to wait for this to cook. And then we're going to just wait. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, everyone, we just hit the four minute mark, so let's see what we got. Here's our hot dogs. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over here. And we're going to let them cook just a little bit more because we like things well done. Okay, everybody, let's see what we have. I did move everything around a little bit. These should be about ready. As you know, we like it well done. And 
these are the hot dogs. They look fully cooked. Mm -hmm. And our, obviously our burgers shrank a little bit, so I moved them over and I moved the hot dogs on this side. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take them off. And again, because of the smokeless grill, we don't have any smoke in here. And I'm gonna put them right on this plate real quick. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat this back up just a bit. So I'm going to set it for maybe seven minutes at 375. And now we decided we're going to make two hamburgers with a bread that are going to be like patty melts and two hot dogs. Cool. So make sure that's stood up really well. Don't be afraid to get messy. So we got this bread, we're just gonna dip it there. So then this is what it's gonna look like. Get the cheese all over it. And then what I do is I put a cheese on the inside. And then I get the hot dog, careful, they're gonna be hot. And don't be afraid, get your hands dirty and squeeze it up. And I'm gonna squeeze it just like that, nice and tight. And I'm going to set it right there, and I'm going to do the next one. Get all that cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Here's the next one. You think you got too much cheese on there? Never enough cheese. And it's not too hot. You can grab it. Don't be afraid to smash it in there. Really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to do two to save time. Now, for our burger. We have it on one side here. And I'm gonna add the cheese. And then I'm gonna add the patty. They obviously shrank a little bit. And I'm gonna add more cheese because we love cheese. I'm gonna have one more bread here. Mm -hmm. Dip it in there. And now we're ready to go. I won't waste your time. I'll do the other one separate. And you just set it right on there just like that. I'm going to set the hot dog on here just like that. If you can, put them close together so they stay closed. And let me go ahead and... You want mayo on this one? Um, or you want... Yeah, I do it that way. This way, okay. Yeah. We were going to put mayo on the outside, but maybe yeah. we'll use that for a different, uh, a different video. So there we go. Let's get that patty. And then we're going to use the condiments after, like, yes. to, to right. We're going to get the condiments ready while this is cooking up. All right. One more time. Get all that cheese in there. Mm -hmm. Look at all that. Looks the more it's... cheese that you can get to stick, the better. It looks like too much cheese, though. Never enough cheese. Yeah. That's what I hear. And we don't be afraid to move these over as long as you have some tongs, you're not going to get burned. The cheese does not stick. The egg does not stick. And now I'm just going to close it up. Make sure you turn your fan on every time you close it so mm -hmm. the smoke goes inside the grill and not into your home. Or not into your RV. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so we have a few minutes left. I don't like to tell everybody exactly what temperature, exactly what time, because some people like it well done, some people like their their meat medium rare, like uh, uh, Lone Wolf Rick, Bad Wolf BH likes it extra well done. So we have about two minutes left from what I put on there. So let's see what they look like. So there's our hot dogs. They're very easy, they stay together. And let me get a spatula for these guys. one of them and remember the secret on these is not only you want to let it cook for a little bit don't be afraid to check it but you want to use a little paprika for the golden brown so I'm gonna go about one more minute on the bread I like it nice and crispy mm -hmm. we're getting our condiments ready and we'll show you the finished product okay we'll show you <laughs> for the ketchup now remember we're going low carb so we figure for the hot dogs and the burgers. There is no more than six carbs 
six carbs for the burger plus the condiments. So right, about there's 10. no carbs in the burger. So that's uh, three per slice. That's six. We're using the less sugar, less sodium ketchup. This one actually has four if you use a whole tablespoon. So you always want to be careful with that. any kind of ketchup. You don't mm -hmm. have to use that. That's for the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one actually comes down to three carbs. Your kids would like this because it's not spicy. It's a secret sauce by Hidden Valley Ranch. Mm -hmm. And it, it gives that almost like a, um, a Chick-fil-A flavor, but not so uh, sweet. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lovely mustard that's great for everything because there are no carbs. And obviously if you want to use some mayo, and like I always this, love that paprika. That's the olive oil mayo, which is um, yes. only has one carb. It's, uh, if you were gonna have one tablespoon, you're looking at one carb. It tastes just like mayo too. It's and next time sweet. we're thinking of um, putting mayo on yeah, the outside. on the outside, mm -hmm. because a lot of times you can make um, grilled cheese. Yep. Instead of putting butter on the outside, you can use mayo. Yeah, I never knew that before. That's true. That long that's ago. very true. You could use butter on that bread. Don't be shy. Use egg. The other thing um, we're thinking of doing next time when we haven't eaten, it's all done. As many carbs is uh, we want to do the chili dogs. Yeah. So let's take these out and let's see what we got. It turns off itself. There's our hot dog there. There's our other one. Don't forget we have some cheese. I think we'll even cut them open for you if you'd like. It's done on both sides and the bread is crispy. And there's our other one. Now this is a lot a lot for the two of us, but oh, we definitely will have some left over. Now, and that last time I did tell you I would talk about this, there's hardly anything on the grill. If you were, if you do have a dishwasher, which most people do, we do not win the RV, you can do a couple things. I, w I don't recommend it when it's hot, but I wanna show you, it does not stick. And if you wanna just let it cool, you put it in your sink, you run water over it, you barely rub it, that stuff comes off. Mm -hmm. It is an excellent tool. The mm -hmm. other thing I didn't show you was on this side. It has a drip, a drip catcher actually for any extra grease, as you see we don't have any, but you wanna pull that out. It takes all the extra grease out that drips out to the sides. This comes out, this comes out, that comes out with one. I can pick that up, I can click that up, pull this out. I wash it all within what, five minutes? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not hard to scrub, you clean it, you put it away, and you've done your grilling. So all together, I would say this takes, by putting everything out and all, less than 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So everyone, thank you, thank you subscribers. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you, Ken S., for um, making a suggestion. This is for you and your girlfriend. I hope you guys like it. And thank you, viewers. Thank you so much. And we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.